2 lunchtime each day. cbc.ca slash Newfoundland morning is where you can find links to it. Tech conversation now. Little kiss of spring here, guys. Just beautiful. Driving in a vehicle here today you haven't seen before. I actually traded my Ford, my F-150, almost immediately after we had the new baby. Traded it on a van. Got a great van there. And then uh, the goal has always been to pick up a truck through the company. So the company maintains all that maintenance and expense and everything. It's a lot more beneficial if you can purchase through a corporation like that, just for some of you that are on the way. If there's any way you can buy something through the corporation instead of personally, it's best to do that. But now this truck here is just one that I'm using right now, but it's one that I would imagine I'll uh, eventually resell. Another one there, that Ranger with the box put on. But this Tundra is all right. Great shape truck. Eight foot box, traditional man's truck. Single cab, eight foot box. Up underneath, fantastic. Needs a few little things, needs a little bit of work, but like I said, probably end up being Resold. I don't intend to keep it for uh, for a company truck or anything. Little kiss of spring. Little kiss of spring. Let's see what's happening inside the shop this morning. Welcome back to the workshop, here, guys. I thought I'd show. I haven't shown for a while. I have a couple leather waist belt orders here for custom belts, and these are built to order every time. So we're going to run through right from. Belt blank, leather blank, to finish products. And these belts are just beautiful. I have one on my own waist here. My dad's had one. They've both been run for years. And I think the design, the size, the materials are just right for a comfortable belt, but a long-lasting belt. You can get belts that are so overmade, made to, you know, uh, be able to use as a sling on, a, on an excavator boom or something. You can get them heavy enough that they're supposed to be indestructible, but they're not comfortable to wear. If you're seated or if you have to move a lot or in and out of the vehicle, they're not comfortable belts. Now, for a, a working man or someone that has a busy life, you want a good, strong belt. You don't want your belt failing you. And you want premium leather. And I have what I believe is just about the perfect belt. And like I said, we're gonna make a couple here today. These are heavyweight belts, approximately, you can see there, this is like eight, nine ounce leather, heavy and stiff. Still a beautiful, fine grain finish, but no laminations in here. Uh, my belt's pure leather. Um, some people run stitching and stuff down. That's just one more thing. It's like some of these vehicles now that are loaded with sensors. It's just one more thing that breaks down, you know, as those stitches tear and pluck out over time. It just makes everything look gnarly. This leather here, you can always just, if it gets real scratched up and torn up, you can just give it a light re-dye. If you keep it treated with some mink oil or, or treatment, open offs or something, it always looks beautiful and uh, is healthy. So the least components you have to break down or dissolve over time, the longer your belt is going to look like a beautiful belt. You leather workers, I've always, I've had this one for years now, this Teflon board. If you're working with leather, get yourself a Teflon board for cutting. Well worth it, you don't tear up your tables, you really save your blades. But I recently picked up, actually I did, uh, I set up for a, a class here. I had a whole high school group come in for a leather working tutorial, it was a half day thing. It worked really well, but something I bought because these big boards are kind of expensive. That one's maybe 40 bucks or something. Something I bought, so the youth had something to work on. Got these little, what is that, little 5x5 five five or something, 6x6 six six mini cutting boards. These are awesome. 
And for, for cutting out large sheaths and things like that, they're not ideal. But for working belts and things like that, they're so handy. You can, you can shuffle them around the table for your cuts. They're easy to slide. They don't take up any room on your bench. Just let you see the finish there. Still has that same Teflon, like textured, like divoted finish. Really nice. Now, as I've said many, many, many times, anything that you're gonna repeat in your craftsman journey, build a template. Anything that's gonna be done more than once, build a template. And so that is what I have right here. You can see I built this out of beautiful steel and I use a, uh, I use a four rivet design for my belts. Better than a two. I think it's better than stitching. The, if you have a good quality steel rivet, holds up really well. And uh, we're stitching kind of braid and tear down over time. Um, the rivets won't do that. Unless you really put a tremendous amount of force on them, they won't give way because it's malformed steel. They are incredibly strong. But this is my diagram. What I'll use, and I'll center this on the belt. Right there. I'll mark out my holes and then I'll just punch them out. And then the end that resides on the buckle end is taken care of. All these holes have been measured and designed to all line up. This is the one I'll snip between these two larger ones you'll see in a minute. Just makes this process, it makes it repeatable. So if I've got to make 10 belts in an afternoon, I can, I don't have to individually measure and mark. It gives me very consistent results. It's just, uh, it's a way to go, I think. These custom chisels I built back in a previous episode of uh, the Newfoundland Hobbyist, my television show. These are just beautiful and I've gotten quite a bit of use actually. They're, they're the chisels that I use all the time for any leather working or, or lighter woodworking around the bench, even any heavier stuff. I did a, an instrument uh, restoration recently and these are the ones to use. They're just so nice. It's nice to have a chisel that's built to the right length for working like this on the bench. What I'll do for these here now, is I'm just going to connect those two holes, as you see here. Punch out the center, and that is dimensioned now for our buckle. Now I use a leather that's so thick that unless I scalp it with something like this, you just, you can't fold this tight enough for a buckle. It's just too thick. So we'll use a scalping tool or a scooping tool like this. A scything tool, some people call it. Just a joyous tool to use, but you have to be careful. You take too much material pretty pretty quick inch and a half wide pre-drilled with the right number and spacing I want Beautiful template. I can lay this down, mark all my holes, perfectly spaced. But to set the mind of the spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh, the opposite, because you live, Seven things. As a basis of...
make these myself. You can buy the loops, but I make them to the fit I like. I've had bought ones before that where I didn't like the fit, but just cut a staple. They're fairly easy to make. With leather staples, they're great. And we're ready to assemble these belts. Look at this solid brass. This is solid brass. You could snip this in half. And this is, uh, you could make a knife guard out of this. Just, just beautiful. Premium all the way. Now these buckles don't come cheap. Not at all. That's a stiff piece of hide on this side. You don't have anything to do with your books now? Nope. Zero? Zero. Is that a relief to you? Yes, sir. I got to send that payment in before it goes on now to CRA. What payment is that? <laughs> the big one. Big one. Well, you haven't said that yet? And there they are. Two gorgeous leather belts here, guys. Uh, different size. We have a medium and a large here. Both brass hardware. I actually don't do many leather belts with brass hardware, but both orders today in brass. Really nice. I love just that classic styling. And then we did a medium brown and then a natural oiled veg tan there on the front side. Just two beautiful pieces. Thanks for watching. Check out my web store, kylenoseworthy.com, if you want to purchase one of these beautiful belts, some of the other products I make in this awesome shop here. That's it for this video. Make sure you tune in the next one. Have a great day.